What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, dealing with function notation again. So if we're told g of x equals 2x squared and f of x is 2x squared minus x, we have to find this expression, 3 times f of g of x minus x. So notice there's a lot going on here. So what I'm going to do, let's rewrite this expression here. What I'm first going to do is work with this complex expression over here. So let's first find out what's f of g of x going to be. Well, notice that f of x, it's equal to 2x squared minus x. So anything we plug in for x here, we're going to plug in for the x in the actual expression for f of x. So for example, if we have like f of a, that's going to be 2a squared minus a, or if we have f of a plus 1, that's going to be 2a plus 1 squared minus a plus 1, right? We'd plug in that a plus 1 for both x's. So what's f of g of x going to be? Well, we would plug in the expression for g of x in the bracket, which is 2x squared. Right? And so we would plug in 2x squared for all the x's in f of x. So we'd end up with 2 times 2x squared. That's going to be squared. Right? We plugged in 2x squared for this x minus uh, x, which is just 2x squared. Right? So that right there is what f of g of x is going to be. It's going to be all of this right here. So let's simplify this. So we would have 2. Now we have the 2x squared squared. So that means the 2 is going to go to the power 2. And then x squared is going to go to the power 2. And then we're going to have minus 2x squared like that. So we'd have 2 times 4. x squared squared is just x to the 4. Like that. So over here, we would have 8x to the 4 minus 2x squared. That's what f of g of x simplifies to. And so notice we can't simplify this any further. So now we could just take this and plug it into this whole expression, right? Because we got to simplify all of this. So what we would end up having is 3 times f of g of x, which is this, which is what we ended up getting minus x, and then we could take the 3, distribute it, um, minus 6x squared, right? Yes, minus x, like that. There's no like terms here, can't simplify this any further. So that ends up being the final answer for this. So I feel like working with this expression over here, that's the toughest part, but then once you have that, simplify it to this, you could plug it into that, and then simplifying from there is not too bad.